man, a shout out again to Michael Jackson and Heavy D. There was a video called Jam. So we were in the That's right. video. No way. Michael was like, I love that song. That's my jam. You see Bubbles, the monkey getting out of limo, out of dressed here. better than you. He had more bras than I had. <laughs> it's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. So happy. Hey, what, what, what is this? <laughs> what are we? Are we, pro, are we protesting? The right. Olympics. You know oh, what man. Saying? What's happening? What happened, Play? Oh, man. It's all good. How you feeling? Uh, 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 New York Mets, huh? The New York Mets, or as we call them, the New York Mess. Oh. This is your boy, Kid. We are here at the Fun House Podcast That's featuring right. your boys, Kid and Play. Uh, we got another great show for you, man. Exciting guests, and uh, we want to we want to get right into it, man. You know how we started? Songs? Yeah, we'd like to start it off with. I got to represent. You got an old school joint for us? What this you got? Is a demanding. I mean, yeah, the letters that are coming in from the, the letters. Oh, okay, right. Pony <laughs> Express. They back. Okay. Yo, speaking of letters, what letters? A, it's B, called C. the the song I'm picking is Letter Man by K Solo. Letter. Oh, okay, okay, K Solo. Song. I didn't even mean to do that. It just ended up working wow, out. Wow, man, you, you're is, so you know smooth saying? with it. Produced by a friend of ours who has produced some of our joints, some of our controversial joints, Mr. Pete Rock. Pete Rock, shout out to Pete you Rock. You need to check out K Solo's Letter Man. This is one of those times when Wonder. you were um, rappers was almost beginning to get into the fast rapping thing and the whole right educated right, right. thing. It was it was real dope. What you got for me? All right, I got a new joint. Uh, I'm going I'm going light skin with this one. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Drizzy Drake. Drake, a uh, song uh, near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, probably be yours too. Hey. God's Plan. Hey. I always liked that song. Uh, the video was real dope too. God's Plan, produced by Boy Wonder and Noah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm partial to, uh, to the light skinned rappers today and the young light skinned rappers. So, yeah, uh, so, we're asking you to check these joints out. They're hot and they represent. Yeah. Uh, both ends of the spectrum when it comes to classic, or some people call it old school, and then you got the new school, hopefully future classics. What are we looking at? Doing the most or yeah. say less? You know what? I, I'm, I'm checking this out. I think this is a doing the most, okay? I think really? it's a doing the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me peek this. GQ Magazine says, Men in Rap should take a lesson from Offset, Lil Nas, and NLE Chopper, excuse me, and dance more in their live shows. All right, they're talking about people need to dance more, be more expressive and dancing around in their live and shows. And look who's bringing it up. Yes, that's me. The writer says it's about time that choreography became mandatory for male artists Rappers included, even if they just get silly with it. We are, as you know, we are rappers who danced and yes. still dance. Yes. Uh, is it doing the most when you're a male rapper who dances? Um, no. No. I don't I, I agree. No. I don't think so. Why? Aren't no. you your your goal is to give people a, a, a show, a lively show. I mean, different types of music has its place, but music is usually closely affiliated with dancing. You know what I'm saying? The expression sure. of Expression, you know right? What I'm saying? Whether yeah. you're on beat or off beat, you know? yeah. I mean, you know what? I think you know whatever your your live show should kind of uh, uh, mimic or be representative of of who you are. Maybe your music. Now, I'm not saying I want to see Rock Him or Nas dance. That's you true. know that might not be appropriate. But yeah. I mean, I think for, for me, some of these young artists, you know, they're young. They got ener they're energetic. The the songs are energetic. Uh, I don't think it would not be a crime uh, to uh, to add a little movement. And maybe it's not them. Have some dancers behind you. Just a little movement. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Who we have in mind and we're getting ready to bring in here, he's not known for dancing. Well, you but know, like I said. But he has tracks that has people dancing. Right. You know so I'm, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's not for everybody. And a lot of times, you know, like I said, people, in terms of trying to bring a live show to the people, they pay hard-earned money. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm with it. You well, know? let's enjoy this person's music by bringing them in. You ready? I think we're ready. Oh. Hey. hey, man. Yo, you got to get a seatbelt for this, <laughs> young The power Seriously? of the snap. <laughs> you did not tell me I was like, bro, bro. Where are you at? Where did we, where, where we bring you in from? My, my Jimmy. I was down Jimmy. in Miami Jimmy. doing Ladies problem gig. Yo, yo. Welcome we're going to gonna us. get you back safely. We just yeah, need yeah, to spend yeah, some time yeah. here right Ladies now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Christmas. to the Fun House Podcast. It is Tretch. Trigger Tretch in the gonna, building. You took the words out of my mouth. Trigger Tretch. What's happening? What's baby? happening? You looking man, fly. man, blessed by Smelling the best. Good. Ducking Smelling around, good. yeah. I put some smell swells on after I showered. Smell today. swells. There yeah. you go. Got the full turtleneck, man. It got breezy out of here when I left. To my every minute of it, it was yeah. seventy degres. Well, when we, we like snap you in, we make sure we clothe you too. You know <laughs> yeah, appropriately. Right. I got to get his back. 
<laughs> you know. No, no, you can keep it. No. You might look a little silly on the beach with that on, but you got we I'm got not you. walking down this block naked. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, for, thank you for joining us, brother. Um, it's it's a pleasure to have you, and uh, you know we feel like uh, for our, our new podcast venture, we couldn't think of uh, anybody better to have uh, come happy, join us. A happier soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because obviously your talent is is well documented. But it goes across a lot of different uh, roles and modes in the entertainment industry. So uh, Thank you. we're Thank here you. to kind of celebrate you and just, you know, talk to the talk to the folks. I, I, and can I get into it? Yeah, yeah. Can By I the way, who's it? that on your shirt there? No. Hey. 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 Yeah. I couldn't even uh, land with one of those shirts well, on. Well, we now. got it. We got it. It's, it's, it's they the don't, wardrobe. They, they, they yeah. don't sew that fast. You know what I'm yeah, right, saying? Right, right. You know what? Your name came up in a deep conversation about artists and skills, rappers and skills. And I hope I articulate this right. It's like sometimes when you're entering in this business, how well, whatever your signature is, your images isn't always like who you like really, really are. It's not like what is bad, but it's like does do people really know how you get down? You know what I'm saying? When it comes time to being a a a, a lyricist, you know, so to speak, right. because you're associated with anthems, mm -hmm. a lot of pop stuff, feel good yeah. thing, which is great. But Katz was talking about, uh, matter of fact, thank you, Lord. I remember we were hanging out in the green room one time, and it was shared to us, I don't know if you was in the room, where the name Tretch comes from mm -hmm. in regards to how much you love the Treacherous Three. Yes, and hip hop. Tretch is from? Treacherous Three. Treacherous like, Three. So cool my, D, L.A. Sunshine, Special K. Yes, and I was a little L.L., like when I first started rhyming. But as you know, in hip hop, you can't sound like nobody else or you'll be a biter. Right. Yes, I remember feel? how bad that was if you was called oh, biter. You don't want to get a reputation you'll, like that. You'll never get signed. You'll never be accepted. You'll never go anywhere. So my first name, because my real name is Anthony. Right. So everybody called me Tony when I was little. Hmm. So my name started out as Tiny T Treachery. Okay. You know I mean? Right. So then it was double T treachery. Then, you know, it was long after after the eighties, it's like you short stuff. So right. it's, I chopped it down to Tretch, but one the Treacherous Three was like one of my favorites and I was little L L when I first came out. So right. when they say, um, they used to always ask, Who's your top five MCs? I said, That's the most disrespectful question I think in hip hop. After fifty years, mm -hmm. right to 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 narrow to it down, down to that to five to five, right? So you right. don't even have one for each. You got one for each decade, right? right. Like it's so this. I'm like, if you oh, say wow. my top fifty, like ten from ten, okay. and I still would be missing some, right? 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 And so often you never even hear of the female MCs, right? You right. understand? So you're saying you're saying that, that it, it's not right to try to distill it to something like that because no. we have this this different inference uh, influences. You know, no, like you said, you mentioned LL. So many. Yeah. That, so yeah, you get you. Maybe I was you get Slick the, Rick. Yeah, I was I exactly. was Karis One. Right. I was right. Chuck D. Right. I was Kid right. Play with the right. parties right. and all that. Right. Like right. I, yeah, I, I used I to. Got, I seen I seen y'all. I seen the, the, the <laughs> new was the new flavor. The new style. New style. Excuse me. The high top phase went to braids. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. But we was influenced by hip hop as a whole and to not name everybody that influenced us to me was just disrespectful. Yeah, I agree. You know? I agree. To place point, and you've been known for these these sweeping anthems and you know, we've we've all been doing shows together for, you know, 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And and so I mean, but as a lyricist, do you do you ever feel like you get overlooked? I know I know um um, you know, Rappers from across the the ages have, have have shouted you out. In particular, most recently Eminem, mm -hmm. who who uh, said as much as when he heard you rhyme, he was just like, "Oh man!" Like mm -hmm. you know, he he had his work cut out from, uh, you know, that you had raised the bar that that he was gonna have to lift up to, and to the point where he knew he knew these rhymes, he was reciting them verbatim, mm -hmm. um, and and many rappers admire you, mm -hmm. um, but but. Is there a part of you that says, you know, I I, I wish people uh, knew that I, I can compete on the highest of, of levels yeah. at all times? I mean, you always want you always want the top accolades in whatever you do. Right. You want to be a Hall of Famer. You want to be looked at like a goat. But to me, it's like I'd rather be underrated than overrated. Mm -hmm. mm. And 
like I said, it's so much talent in hip hop. When you see the list that was made from back in the days, those was from magazines or people that weren't rappers. Now, if rappers was saying Sorry. who Excuse was, me. you feel what I'm you saying? Say? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's so many magazines like, yo, how were y'all? That's why I yeah. think a lot of uh, NBA players look at Stephen A. Smith like, homie, you ain't never played. Never. Mm. Well, yeah, not, not at the highest of levels. So when somebody's rating me that never been in the hip hop mm -hmm. game and never did what we do, yeah. like, if you don't put me in your list, your I, list ain't shit. Your list ain't shit to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And I, I agree. Sometimes, you know what? I think as, as artists, sometimes I've gotten mad at stuff like that. Yeah, we get you know, mad. You see, you see, like on MTV or whatever, they'll, they have a round table of writers. Or none of them ain't never did nothing. They never picked up a mic. Probably did try to pick up a mic or create. And we're not good enough. But yet and still, they get to sit around and, and say what the top you. 100 groups or, or the top 20 rappers of all time. I'm just like, who's who's you? Who's you? You know what I'm saying? Who made you Were the you arbiter? There? Were you there? Were you there? I know y'all have to see. Me, yeah. Like, if you don't say Kid and Play had party anthems, which train artists how to, you don't have to be gangster. You don't have to be no. hardcore. Yeah, sure. But party, anywhere you go in hip hop, you have to show we up had, at a party. We had a and beautiful, if exactly. you, we had a beautiful experience <laughs> yesterday. We went to uh, be on uh, Roxanne Shantae's uh, show. Have a nice day. Shout Rock out the bell. DJ Rock Cool V. The bell. Um, and ran into Jim Jones. And <laughs> Jim you know, Jones. He, DJ. He, he chased us down to tell us how much of an influence we had on him. That's unfair. And it was like, realness. like yeah, wow, yeah, that yeah, was like, such, realness. like real touching. And even saying then we ran into Mayno. Now, you know, this guy almost going to get no more thuggers than these two, you know what I'm saying? Right, no. And they're like, yo, we got to take a picture whatever. And keep it, and we the same adoration towards them right back, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's interesting how far your, uh, you know, things precede, you know, how you touch and influence others and stuff being yourself, doing your thing. So Man, when I was from hearing Jersey this, to LA, shout out to Jim Jones. All in Uptown in Brooklyn, yeah. can no click never said they did the can play dance. I don't care how hard or gangster they was. Like this is the shit. But man, how does it feel? The anthems you guys yeah, created. I ain't gonna lie. We had a conversation. I said, <laughs> "What records do I asked him? I said, "What records do do you did you wish you would have made?" And he asked me. I said, "Hip hop hooray!" Absolutely. Because that ghetto bass, all of those joints, man. It's like, yo, so yeah. Did, and, you, and, know? yeah. did well, you know? Yeah. Did you know? Yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. did you know? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. in, in the creative process. Yeah. Did you yeah. have any idea? Yeah. No, these yeah. are these are done in, in, in baseball and basketball games. You know what I'm saying? And never, NBA, all like of that never. Stuff. You got to realize back in the days, um, certain samples that you did, if they seemed like they was poppy or popish. Come on now. Like. It wouldn't be accepted, mm -hmm. but like, like, when yeah. K came with that the Michael Jackson joint, ABC scheme. joint, oh. I'm like, we gonna flip something to this. Like, I don't care who says nothing. So it was always like it could be a hit or miss, but we're gonna do this. Yeah. And when we played it for Flavor Unit, Latifah, Shah, all the Flavor Unit, before we even got to labels, they was like, yo, that's the joint. We're talking about OPP, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all better. Yeah, yeah. And we never stopped by Marley. Like, people knew of him, but it wasn't everybody. Everything's going to be all right. We like, wow. Yeah. we gonna, we gonna we're going to do that. this. We're going to flip that. Into something that's hood, but it's telling a story for the ghetto kids. Yeah. You feel me? So we never knew any of it was going to happen. Right. And we were from Jersey. Right. I was going to go there because yeah. we know how it is to be from Queens at one point. You know what I'm saying? But at least y'all was from the boroughs. <laughs> yeah, right, Yo, we right, went right. one time in New York and just said, and we spoke about it. We had a huddle. Look, we going to New York, y'all. Let's rock it. And then we can say Jersey at the end. But don't say it first. Yo, we got on. Vince said, Jersey, boo! <laughs> This was new style before yeah, we was knowing yeah. it. Right. Like, yo, we can't even say, if you ain't from New York, you and yeah. what they say, you ain't from New York, yeah. Emma. Yeah. You ain't yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was no, very, it, very tribal back then. But very. But now that you mentioned it, I, I, I'd like to, let's take us back to, to Ill Town. All right? What, what, 
what what was it like being raised in Ill Town? How did that how did that affect uh, the music? Yes, what sir. was that? Uh, Play likes to uh, uh, bring this up. Like, what was that? Was that hip hop moment or or that song? That that made you say, "Hey, I'm gonna do this." Defining moment. Oh defining no, moment. the defining moment was Sugar Hill Gang, and it was cause my mother had the record and brought it home and played. Shout it. out to moms. My mama Smurf, that Smurf. When she played that record, I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I would hear it on the radio, and remember that record was like 18 minutes long. Oh. Yeah. You feel me? Because it was no, and they played it all, and I heard that, yep. and I was like, I'm not going to be doing sports. I'm not going to be doing everything I had planned. I'm like, I need to find more about this. So me, Kay, and Vin, we used to go uptown, and we were doing some things we shouldn't have been doing. Yeah, that shell remains Pippin', Pippin', nameless. Pippin', Pippin', <laughs> picking up some stuff to sell, and but. It was mixtapes and everything back then. Mm -hmm. So you had the Kumo D, Busy B battles, and I had a homie mm -hmm. named Creamy E, Kareem, and he used to DJ, and he used to go uptown. So I used to hear the tapes from yeah. New York like that wasn't on the radio. No. I was like, yo, are you serious? Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this culture? What is what? I'm a, I'm gonna be a part of this. So I tried break dancing. So I lived on Grove Street, and me and my my neighbors, we used to have cardboard boxes, homie Larry and, and my little brother Jeff. And I went and tried to do one backspin and, mm. and break dance. I almost broke everything. Mm. I said, that's not me. No, no, no. We, <laughs> you crossed that off. I, all, yeah, all the different elements of the all, culture. Yeah, yeah, I, I, like I, I did time. some graffiti, <laughs> and it was looking like, like, like scribble from a two-year-old. Mm. Mm, no, we, this we off. Off. So it was no more records that I, I knew every record and every battle that I heard, Kumo D, Busy B, all that. And I said, I got to start writing my own because I know all this not enough yeah. that yeah. I'm getting. So that was Sugar Hill Gang. All right. That's, that's Definitely. the thing. In regards to things are beginning to happen, you know, like what was the first hit? Was it OPP? Oh, definitely. That was what, the first thing. Okay, but, but no, first we were New Style. Now, the story behind New Style is that before we got with Flavor Unit or anything, we had a group and we called it New Style. And the way it came, it was like we needed, we were doing talent shows all over. I was a solo artist then. Me, K and Vin met in high school. Okay. So for the high school, it was K's like senior year. So for the senior talent show, we were the group came on and we needed a name real quick. So we we couldn't think of nothing, but K was just up one day just cutting Beastie Boys. It's the news. It, it it's the new new style. We like we new style. Yeah. And it's the eighty eight. You feel me? Eighty nine. Yeah. So we like new style. Right. But that's that vibe we were talking about. There's there's always like a, a like you said a first rap name or a first group name. Mm -hmm. Until you get to the name, 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 you know, and and that's part of your evolution as an artist too. He's like, yeah. well, you know what, this name that we started with, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fit us now, mm -hmm. it, and and your name, your name, your personal name as a rapper it has to fit, has to and fit. the group name, has but the eighties new fit. style was cool for it the eighties, it was, and we were coming into the nineties. But look at the scenario, we were chasing, because all of us love Sugar Hill. So we went to Sylvia Robinson mm. and That's right, Sugar Jersey. Hill. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we played them there. And we actually got signed to not Sugar Hill Records, but to Bon on Me, which was a subsidiary because yeah. they had legal Remember cases. That bon with, Aren't y'all yeah. featured in that documentary I want our, we want our name back? Because it gets into the whole thing about Sylvia Robinson and the mansion and everything. And I think I was surprised to see maybe they, Vin they, or somebody they was. They mentioned our name, yeah. but we didn't want the name back because we had a shelf. No, no, no. It was about like, we ain't Sugar sell one Hill. record. No, it was about Sugar <laughs> Hill. Know, but that's where y'all yeah. saw the hot topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember was that the record. Covers. Yeah. No, it was about Sugar Hill and okay. they wanted their name back, but they were talking about some of the artists that were, like, we were affiliated with yes. the with the label and stuff, Definitely. which was a surprise to me when I saw Shout the thing like that. And the family, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how does the how does the connection with uh with uh with Latifah? All right, and, so and, and, and Sha was Sha, Sha, they were already together. Sha Kim. What yeah. happened was, I was a solo artist for like until high school. I was doing different talent shows all by myself. Mm -hmm. But in high Shout school, out for talent shows. Yes, <laughs> very much so. Raleigh Racket Club, Club Eighty Eight. 
Um, I had met Vin in high school first, and he was just a beatbox. So at lunchroom, we used to go down and freestyle, and, and before it was banging on the tables, yeah, the yeah. beats, but Vin was a beatbox. So when we came, it was like, boom. Like, like, so he said, yo, I know this DJ, and we got upcoming talent shows. Mm -hmm. I want you to meet KG. He down on 18th. I'm like, let's go. So when we came down there, we did that. We had the whole new style deal, all that prior. And then it was like, yo, I know Latifah from these different talent shows. I was telling him, I, I know mm -hmm. Dana. Yeah. He was like, yo, you think I could get up in there? We could get up and, and get on Flavor Unit? Because now, you know, you got they, Mark they the 45. To they, they start, ooh. They bubbling, right? They starting to, she's out there rapping my madness, right. all of that. So I'm like, I don't have a connect with her like that, but what you think we should? So we huddled up and was like, we need to do like a showcase and invite them. When we signed with them, true story, we had another meeting, like homies. We can't taint the queen name. We either got to stop hustling mm. or mm -hmm. continue hustle or do right. rap. Right. We can't do both because... We exactly. we got the one of the biggest drug blocks out there, and if we and bring know, that to you know flavor, you people are they look forward to him and her up because every, she's the famous name and make it right. look like she's some madam. You know, it wasn't even no madam, Rico back then or nothing. But right. we like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. we can't taint mm -hmm. Flavor Unit's yeah. legacy. No smut on the name. Yeah. Nothing. So we gave up the block and everything when we signed to Flavor Unit. Like that's powerful. It wasn't even a record deal. It was like, we right, know right, we're right. going to get something. Naughty by nature. Where'd that come from? Had to fight for it. And we'll get to one. You had to fight for it. After New Style, it was the 80s. So we was like, that's dated. Mm -hmm. So we had a song called Naughty by Nature. Mm -hmm. And when it was like, we need a new song. I mean, new title uh, for the group. So I'm just looking through the titles, looking through the titles. It was a song called Naughty by Nature. So Dope name. I bought, bought it to Kay and Vin. And they was like... It's kind of catchy. And then I bought it to Sha. Sha, uh, uh, Sha came over at Flavor Union and it was like, it might be too long. And then everybody was like, yeah, it might be too hard to remember. And uh, I'm like, I had to fight. I'm like, listen, Naughty by Nature, it's not just a group. It's like everybody could feel they are Naughty by Nature. Yeah. And feel yeah. like a... Feel it's like, hard. Feel like it's like a, a universal part, term, you know. Part. And You're it's not center. and it's not saying <laughs> nympho by nature or oh, nasty right. ass right. niggers by right. nature or right. nigger by nature. Right. It's like naughty. It's like a polite way of saying right. we are naughty people by nature. Yeah. No matter what race, color, creed, genre, it's like, yo, we naughty. So it was like they send it, I think like even the Tommy boy, they was like, ah. And then when I was like, hey man. Yeah. Naughty by nature. Great. So um, he, here's OPP, you know, they they play, we going to make it happen and stuff. Mm -hmm. It seemed to me once that took place, y'all just. Yeah, that's and that's on uh, and that's on Tommy Boy, who, who, yeah. who Latifah, Tommy Boy Records, Latifah already, she was already signed there. Yeah. Right? So kind of but brought you in. We actually got signed to Warner Brothers record. Benny Medina signed us. Oh, really? wow. But they didn't know how to work no rap. And Latifah and them was like, yo, need to put them on Tommy Boy. So we actually had a major record label deal right. and was put on a subsidiary independent that. label. We had that. So we signed for like 250000 our first deal. But they took that and was like, go to Tommy Boy because yeah, yeah, Tommy yeah. Boy knows how to yeah, work. Yeah, the majors, the majors at that time did not know how to work those, those street records. I mean, they, they, you know, they saw that the hip hop was bubbling, but they, they did not know. So the they kind of, they had to funnel you down. Probably one of the first was in the scope with yeah. Dre and him on the, on sure. the West Coast. Well, let me Coast. ask you this. So we know the sample is in that joint. Yeah. Did you ever meet Michael Jackson? Or yeah. Talk about it. Man, shout out again to Michael Jackson. Rest in peace and Heavy D. Heavy D made it to the point where we met Michael Jackson because it was a video called Jam. Right? Yes. And a song. So if you see the video, we were in the That's right. video. No way. That's what you're not. Yeah. yeah. Okay, That's bet, right. bet, bet. It was so, like a warehouse because or something. Because you had like Chris that. Cross yeah. in it too, right? Yeah. 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 Jam. Mm -hmm. That's right. Michael That's right. Jordan was in there. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So with that video, when you see Michael, it's like, 
I love that song. <laughs> That's my jam. I'm like, That's his jam? No, literally, that is his jam. jam. That's my jam. Are you at jam? You see Bubbles, the monkey getting out of limo, out of dressed here. better than you. I said, Stretch, yo, I'll beat you. we are blowing. I'll we are going to blow up. We do you Bubbles? know we, Bubbles. I'll beat you. The monkey. <laughs> he had more bras than I had. <laughs> Bubbles, the monkey. Bubbles. Yes. Homie, I said, Michael Jackson know who we are. We are going to blow. Okay. How about this? How about this on the business tip? Right, because I, I, that's a that's a part of it. I like I like to try to get that out there to use that sample. Yeah, do they take a how, how they big? They took a bite? everything, they everything, took... every part of the the publishing? the publishing on production. Right, and we was like, but you, we you, know you we could knew trade that off. No, 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 we knew we was like, oh, we'll yeah. trade that off because oh, yeah. this it's record oh, yeah. is, yeah, it's is worth going it. blow. Some it's records worth is worth it, it. Yeah, and we could problem. tour forever yeah. off of this. Yeah, not a problem. This is no problem. But we got it back after 30 years. Oh, what? Like, you know. Nice. It was a 30 year, like, y'all willing to give it up for 30 years? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, people don't understand, yes. but but some portions or samples are worth fighting for. But oh, yeah. I, I think you, to your point, I think you had a feeling like, man, don't don't even worry about no, that. We could talk. We'll, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll yeah. get it back. We'll Record sales, it. and we have yeah. writers, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we wrote the songs, but production, we didn't have it. Yeah. And the majority of every record back then was samples. Yeah. So all this is happening. And again, back to my original question, your trigger trench. How are you feeling about this? Back then, people would be real quick to put people in boxes. So, oh, y'all a crossover. Da, 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 yeah, y'all so loud. To said, me, what, yeah, stood, out, to what stood out to me about so you in particular is like, even though you were on these kind of tracks, there's no denying your style. The street you know what I'm saying? Like this cat everything else will knock the out the other cats. You know what I'm saying? Are you okay with that? Very much so. Because mm -hmm. they will have to see us on the streets and question my my. Mm -hmm. My street. Well, you walking around with that bat or a chain? Why chain and you anything. Know? You got a we, chain, chain, man. Actual, actual chain. Stuff you put not, on truck stuff. Yes. You know, not truck jewelry. Yes. But actual. And truck. it was not even thought of like you know what this is something as a weapon. Mm -hmm. It was like it was for all my homies locked down a symbol right, before yeah. we even got to big you. money. I listened to to you. have real chains, mm -hmm. gold or mm -hmm. anything, and it just. It stood out because it's like this is my way. All my homies just locked down. Like y'all's gonna see, I'm a rep. No, I heard you loud and clear through all of that. How did, I just recently, I believe, because you know we've been celebrating and having a good time with the whole 50th anniversary of everything. Yankee Stadium, or was it at the Rock the Bells that you uh, joined uh, Dana uh, quickly Rock the to Bells. on stage Rock and the got Bell. together with Vin yeah. as well? How, how was K. that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how was that? You know, the Queen calls out certain times and like, listen, I know y'all doing your own business ventures and elsewhere, but mm -hmm. you know, for the legacy of Flavor Unit for Jersey and for the 50th, would y'all come together and do that? And it was like a no brainer. It wasn't when the Queen boom like mm -hmm. for that. Definitely. And I do want to Definitely. get further into that, but congratulations on your acting skills, too. I know Thank you're you. doing your thing Thank you. on yeah. that as well. We're on so, strike. Uh, I can't talk right, about right, right, projects, right, right, bro. Right, I, we right, can't right. say. Yeah, we definitely about. turned into Hollywood. So is this a transition, or you can do both? Both, definitely. The first uh, film I was ever in was Juice. And right. rest in peace, my homie Tupac got me in there. I actually read for the role of Bishop because Latifah was like, look, homie, you're not just going to be doing rap. You have to be a businessman. And you yeah. have to Multimedia. venture out. You got, Try the, you got the look, too. You know what I'm saying? You could be Try. John Schaff if you want to. Shout out to Richard Roundtree. Rest Richard in peace. Richard Roundtree. Roundtree. Yes. Original OG. Um, you got to put your foot in everything. If Everything is not going to happen for you, but if you do 100 things, imagine if you if five come through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you going you going to do some things. So I went and read for the role. I ain't know how to read anything. I was terrible. Got in out the club. But Pac, he went in, read for, got it, and we were on roll the role together. I was with Queen Latifah as a roadie. He was on the on with Digital, Digital. Underground yep. as a roadie. Yep. That's how we met. So when he got the movie, the same. If I would have got one first, I would have. He brought me in. 
So I didn't even have lines in there. And I was with the Puerto Rican gang. They was like, how are you the only black <laughs> nigga up in there? Yeah, but. With the, I said, well, it was uptown. I was Dominican. I was from the Heights. <laughs> right, right. Well, like in the I didn't even have a with, line. Uh, John Limousino. How do you say it? Like John Limousino. Like, what was the name of that joint? We had Empire before yeah, the series uh, Empire, Empire. And the other joint you was in with the girl from the Good Girls. Um, uh, he was a killer. Uh, Hitman or something. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Loving the Bullet. I follow. Yes, yeah, yes, you yes, follow yes. so much you don't know the name of the movie. Hey, man. <laughs> that was you my, excuse me, do I have to send y'all to y'all neutral corners? This is unacceptable. You, you know, you, you, know the thing, you know the thing with excuse the guns. With the guns. Y'all, let's let's really going to start this right, right now. Right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't take them nowhere. That's why I take them everywhere. <laughs> but no, man. So, will the, you said we could ask you anything. Mm hmm. Will there be more with you and, and the guys, with uh, Vin and Kay? I mean, I never say no to anything, you know, Amen. at all. I leave everything in God's hands. I have no, you know, malice. Certain times when you work with people, business interferes with what what you're doing or your friendships or anything else. It's like if the business part of it could get to an understanding, of course, and what was yesterday's never do don't have to be tomorrow's, but it has to be, you always got to uh, let a wound heal. Oh, amen. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so I, I, I would say this, maybe not speaking about specifically, but just talk about the the dynamics of, of working within a group. I mean, you know, it's, it's something that, that play, play and I have had to navigate for a long time. And just to just to try to tell the audience, like, what what are those dynamics? What are they like? See, and, a lot and of particularly coming from as far back as y'all as y'all was down together. You gotta know they always say like opposite is attract, mm -hmm. but it's always like respecting everybody as they own individual, and it's not my way is not the way for everyone. But you got to come to the table and feel like how you going to make it work for everybody. It's I always say, yo, it. I don't work under no dictatorships. And I never was, even though I'm the lead rapper, I'm not the lead of the group. If you look at Naughty by Nature, when we were talking about publishing, we didn't make no money off of no producing because it was all paid out mm -hmm. to the samples. Mm -hmm. But every song and hit that we made said written by Naughty by Nature, and I wrote every song. Wow. Because when I came out, I'm like, no matter what goes on, we all going to eat for the rest of our lives off of this writing publishing. Mm -hmm. And I felt down the line, I wasn't respected as getting that. So when other business things went out and it was like, well, you know, I'm the businessman behind the whole group. No, nobody is. Mm -hmm. We all come to a huddle. Right. Don't do nothing behind my back. Let me know everything because everything that went on before that, basically, I'm a team player. Like, let's don't do it. Don't take away my options. Don't, don't, take, don't away take away my, my choices. options you know or make me feel like I'm beneath the group mm -hmm. or I'm an employee of the group. Mm -hmm. We all three bosses in here. Mm -hmm. So don't never have me on, well, it's a two vote to one. I, oh, I'm going to fall back then. Wow. You feel me? This is not, we are not doing this like the Capitol and Congress. You know, I mean, I think it always comes down to trust. Yo, any groups that ever broke up before we ever came out or wasn't together, like, crushed my heart. Like, I knew them personally. Like Chris Rock says, man, first the fat boys break up and now this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, didn't that famous line in Boomerang? See, yeah. yeah. Together or you ain't see. And yeah. When it was thought like Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh, but then when you see them together, like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. your 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 whole soul feels like it's a fan. Like it's like when I see EPMD back together now. You know that one that one hurt me. That hurt a lot of people. Well, I refuse to go out like that. I mean, you know, I see the greats Cosby and and um, uh, Hope and Martin and Lewis and stuff. And when it comes to Kid and Play, I'm like. We ain't going out like that. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Hope and Cosby? No, I said Hope and Crosby. That's what yes, I you meant said. to say. Well, I should have said, Cosby. I should have said Portier round, and round Cosby. Round over. <laughs> Did you ever see me in celebrity boxing? <laughs> Ref Trench? Oh, Go to your neutral corner. Celebrity boxing. Excuse remember me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, celebrity boxing. Celebrity Listen, boxing. we know how close you were with Pop. <laughs> how did you feel about the recent arrests that just took place in regards to... Um, Keefe D? Um, I just feel like in the world we in with I, us as hip hop artists, they will not investigate it past if if y'all if ain't nobody coming with information, we ain't when 
Y'all are anti-police, y'all this, that, and the other, and this, that, and the third. Um, whatever's went on, it's like they found out from someone talking, mm-hmm. putting their own self in it. Yep. And you know what's in the darkness going to come to light. Yep. If, sooner, or, sooner or later, even if it goes when you out of here and God got to go and see you, if you believe in that, well, you, you're going you're gonna to be judged accordingly. So your best memories with Pop. It was just us as probably being roadies yeah. and just coming out. He had I get around with Digital Underground. I was doing stuff with Latifah. Then we came out with OPP. Then he comes out with stuff like seeing us totally broke, yeah. carrying bags on the road, getting per diem, rocking in front of crowds that didn't know us or started to know us and coming into our own selves as mega superstars from mm. Port of Rich just to see that progress. That was the best ever. Sometimes the toughest times or the, or, or the, the poorest oh, that times. Was, that the, was the Were you and I, best. those are the times I remember the most was the, the struggling, the embarrassing, the times where we couldn't even buy whole meals together. He would have the enough to get one best. part of the meal, I'd have enough to get the other part you know, of the meal. Knowing you worked for it. Together, it. Like, you, you know? really came from something, yeah. followed your dream, and made it out of the millions that never make it. We were chosen mm-hmm. by how power and our work ethic, because mm-hmm. none of us just got it. It wasn't like, Ken Play, you know what? Come here, and yeah. here's and a all platinum this record. Given, no no yeah. casting call or nothing y'all like that. Y'all did that. You know that. Y'all built y'all dynasty, and... That was the best of us just being friends that came up and, and and actually being able to say we made it. Did y'all ever get in the studio and do anything together that we have not heard? Yeah, Five Deadly Ven- Venoms. And it's about 10, 15 songs that's somewhere. Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm. That'd be great if we could We've done it. so much stuff like yeah. that together. Would be, yo, is that's nitro glycerin. Somebody like has them and, you know. Yeah, life started to happen. Sometimes you get you get a little way yeah, with yeah, each yeah. other, yeah, get a little yeah, way yeah. away yeah. from each other, not because and you Pac, wanted to. Because Pac was hard head. Mm-hmm. It was like I had to tell Pac, like, homie, where you at? I'm in New York. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm with um you with who? Mm. Homie, 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 homie. Oh, okay. Homie, your right. people. Hold no, mm-hmm. no, nah, nah, they love me. I'm like mm-hmm. homie, mm-hmm. homie. Nah, nah, nigga, nigga, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, all right, all right, Pac, all right. Boom, 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 boom. When he got shot in New York, it yeah. was like, it's two ways I seen a gang of my homies. Like, when something traumatic happened to you, like you get shot up or whatever else, it's one half of them. They'll go like, I'm not going down that road no more. And it's another half that go, oh, I'm, a, I'm I took this. Now I'm I'm at a whole different level now. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a show motherfuckers don't fuck with me. No more. Mm-hmm. So he went a route where it was like I'm yeah. like he's like where you at? I'm like nigga shit was going on. I'm married. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm right. daddy I duties. I'm yeah. I'm I'm, uh, I'm not so I'm on a we, different wavelength. Yeah. Right we now. kept in touch, mm-hmm. and then I was even more in, in contact with Suge than him mm-hmm. at a certain point mm-hmm. after he got out. Right. On just business and checking up and da 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 da, and then when you go to LA, of course, check in yeah, with sir, you yeah. know. So yeah. and speaking of being married at the time, congratulations, you're a grandfather. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout it out. Yeah. yeah. What's Shout the baby's name? That's that's little Cleo right there. Cleo. Egypt is Shout the out mother. To Egypt so and Sam. Cleo, right. Cleo, mm-hmm. Pat, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so wow, it's bittersweet. Generations, yeah. Generations. It's bittersweet because then you know reality shows came in. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. So a lot of times when that happens, it tears different families apart mm. on different stuff that goes. So it's like it's been bittersweet. Like, mm. you know, I am I just, you know, wish them all well and everything else. And it's just. Yeah. 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 Different phases of life. Evidently something has I'm not aware of. I yeah, just I know that had, I yeah, yeah, I just saw the pictures of the baby with yeah, I promote all, I, you I know Egypt mm-hmm. sent me stuff and everything mm-hmm. else, but I have a problem with her husband. Gotcha. And you know, through the years with her moms, mm-hmm. you know, books and movies and stuff. And mm-hmm. so it's like, you know, it's tension there, but it's like me, I'm I'm so mature and past that, like I said, with anything, especially family, 
It's like if anybody comes for me, I, I, I'm so mature, but it's like you're not going to be around me. Wait, how about this? Now, this is something that got me excited. All right, let's bring some fun back to the fun house. Um, <laughs> no, word on the street. Word on the street. Yes, sir. Talk word about on the it. street is there's new solo music afoot from uh, one treachery. Streets are talking. Uh, streets are talking. Um, and now, is that something that uh, you know that you're excited about? Matter of fact, uh, Capri Capri oh. said y'all y'all supposed to be doing something. You and yeah, Ice T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. You know, um, without, yeah, without you know, first, divulge as first, much as you first can. First off, like I've I never ever ever done a solo album. Wow. You feel me? Not so, even one in the vault. It just never. No, no. Happened. The vault is mm -hmm. been packed, mm -hmm. but released. What I'm doing now. It's so exciting. I got a homie from uh, Jersey named Jay Wex. We got this uh, Legends Allegiance, and it's like 20 different groups. We got a single like KRS One, it's a dot X, free paper burn. So on Apple now on streaming services. Like just uh, like just projects what I was doing, like cause I always created one thing, it was like with Naughty, we would we were so hot after an album, we would go two, three, four years without putting out an album. Mm -hmm. Now, we know consistency is everything. Oh, yeah. So if you ain't on them, so many artists comes through through the years, so it take the shine off of you. So me and Ice just been, it's crazy because this uh, strike is going with acting, sure. so he's not on Law & Order. Latifah mm -hmm. got equalizer. Yeah, she's she not on that. Yeah, everybody. So yeah. me and Ice, we got like about... 20 something songs right now that we just did on this break of all of us not mm -hmm. acting. Right. So, see, that, see how sometimes that works out, man. You get shut down in this one particular door closed, area. Yeah, open. and this opens. And because because the universe says, you know what? This is an opportunity stop. for you to, to, to do to something get, else. Yeah, to get I got back other to, things for and this, you. And this is your first love. The yes. music is the, which is what got yes. us to all these other different places that we were yeah. able to go to. Now you That's thought the girl you was an actor, Tretch. Yeah. yeah, let me shut this off. Yeah, let me shut you, this I got down. Something else planned yeah. for Remember you the girl the you came to the dance with? <laughs> you got You need to go back and check her. Say it again, Tretch. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. That's music wise, um, I got a few songs that's written for some real big artists out there, um, and that door is just open yeah. with me clearing my head from not doing. The New Jack City thing, which yeah. will come back. You know, it's looking like oh, New Jack right. City yeah. to play. Mm -hmm. will come back. But the movie side, I had movies lined up. And then it, like, came. The strike came. And it was sure. like, yo, as yeah. soon as I'm... I never was an A-list actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I was on the other letters. Yeah. But, but, but it but was that, looking like yeah. it's coming. But I never said, like, yo, man, why is, is them doors closing? Them doors closed and the hip hop door opened. Just how happened to be the fiftieth year anniversary. We done how many shows oh and God. so many different connects and bow, and it just brought that light on it. So it's like the music thing. They really seeing like these artists are artists in hip hop and rock and roll and country. They don't say old school or new school. They say yeah. these are right. our these are our best best. So now with the fiftieth, it show like. People was looking like, damn. And then you got Rock the Bells, Satellite Radio, worldwide of playing hip hop. Yep. Our era, it's like it just opened up the whole. And also, too, I think more so um, with some of the television tributes. It's it's hard. You know, when the Grammys did it, I'm sure they tried their best. I think LL and Questlove tried to curate that. Uh, uh, the BT Not Awards. Not getting everybody they for tried, two or yeah, three yeah, hours. Yeah. Two or and, three and, hours. And then, then on... Um, 50 then, years worth of artists. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then um, what was uh, the, the, you know, the Cassidy joint? I'm sure there were some people that said, well, why wasn't such and such, such and such? We were talking the course. other day about um, Hammer. About, ha about Hammer. And how Hammer... Mm -hmm. How y'all gonna act like this man didn't exist? Tone low. Tone, I mean, yeah, I mean, Boom, like... I'm, like I'm, certain I'm, artists that I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm, doing I'm, 90s runs yeah, with... Yeah. Um, but I, I don't even feel like Heavy gets the notification that he should get. You know, nah, Heavy D. And when we got our Grammy, we couldn't even go on stage and accept it. Bang. You feel me? Yeah. Class of 88. But the era of, that grew up on hip-hop, their kids, yeah. the ones, the execs, that they running things now. Yeah. The promoters that's doing shows, like yeah. it's a 50th year anniversary, but it's not going to stop because they see... Mm -hmm. Sure, and the kids that grow up today, and they love the, the the culture. The kids that grow up today, they've never not known a world 
with hip hop. Exactly. They've never, exactly. You know what I mean? We, That's we're old enough to be like, we have one foot out, one foot in. You know what I mean? We, I, I can tell you, we knew, uh, grew up at a time when hip hop did not exist. At all. That's not, that doesn't, that doesn't when exist. It wasn't anymore. even called hip hop. It didn't even have a name. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's it's a different world, but um, uh, in, in the preparation for this, um, uh, the, the solo uh, album that you, you've been waiting your whole life to make uh, and put it together as one, I know you said you got joints. With Ice T, you got joints with uh, with Latifah. Um, how about some, uh, maybe some new artists that you, did you seen on the rise? Are there any established artists that you would love to collab with, or or would you like no, to, or would you like to I, get some look, new people that that you'd like to bring them uh, look, unknown uh, that you would like to bring out? That as well, unknown, new of course, but you gotta realize a lot of the young artists in hip hop, they just want young artists in hip hop. Mm -hmm. We will collab with. Right. Any and all. Right. Yeah. And, Some would think we, that from a business point of view, they think that's it, like a desperate move. It's not marketable. Move. No, they think it's a desperate move. This P, P person wants a young person on there to bring Just more hits, so. more views, more attention, instead yeah. of it, you know, be suspicious of that yes. act, yeah. which is unfortunate. Yes. You know How many collabs does, and I was just with the homie last night, Love Nas, like, new artists like, yo, he is not relevant now, or like. Oh, yeah. And, and that bugs me. Now, out, you know. He's been one of the most consistent, no matter what, you know, the era is, to still put out music. But to if these day. artists is going to say something about Nas, yeah. so it's not like we don't fuck with them. It's like them, it's like respect your elders That's type true. thing. That's true. You feel me? Mm -hmm. well, That's the, the, the culture. The, That's the crazy thing in hip hop. Not like in rock and roll and other genres, the ageism thing. And we didn't have that because y'all... And everybody came before us. Mm -hmm. We like y'all. How many times y'all see me? Yeah. I'm like, huh. oh, we yo, embarrass Melly. We embarrass, we embarrass Melly Mel whenever yeah. we're around yo. him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, all real, the time. Real, real like, always recognize real talent. Always recognizes talent. And and there was always somebody that that came before you that 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 inspired you. Um, you know, every every era has had that. After all these years, uh, in terms of your relationship to hip hop with hip hop. Is it is it is there still a fire there? Are you still oh, excited about it? I wouldn't be doing new music or anything. I'd be like, I'm an actor now. Right. That right. that chapter's over. I wouldn't be doing none of the fifty runs and right. all that. Y'all yeah. would never see us. How many shows do we do? Mm -hmm. Good morning, America. Yeah. Who think we'd be on Good Morning America together with Talk Rock Kim and, right. and Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I put up a picture of us all laughing. Like, and it got so many hits, but I put in the in the thing with it. I said there was a time where there was such a competitiveness. Oh, what well, nobody even talked to each other. We we might say what's up and maybe get an answer from each other. Yeah. Yo, what's up? But nobody ever answered the question. But in that picture, someone's crack. I, I'm talking and everybody's cracking up. So I don't know if you know he he tell a joke or whatever. But we're all cracking up and everybody sees that picture. They've never seen Rakim like that. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Like laughing. Smile. He ain't no Even joke. Even the viral thing you just put up where you were, um, uh, back, that's backstage in the hallway with Pepper. Oh, and well, he comes well, by and mentions yeah, yeah. the Turn Our Brothers and Wine Dance. But it, it struck me seeing this picture like, wow. You know, we all, it's no but, need for each one of us to have, have separate that. dressing rooms because we'll all share the same dressing room. And, and share with each everybody other. watching everybody's shows. Yeah, we competitive, but yeah, we yeah. like, hold on. We here and they rocking. We got to mm. make sure our shit stay oh, tight. It meant everything when Brand Newbie <laughs> said to me or uh, us one time. We had a show in New Rochelle. And it's like, all I know is if you guys don't do last night, we going to be upset. And I'm like, yeah. I didn't even yeah. know you knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like you know, curating like, each other's shows. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Are you so serious, yo? That's the love. That's yeah. the love. That that's is the love. love. We have a segment that we call uh, Good Morning Hip Hop, mm -hmm. as in M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, mm -hmm. uh, where we kind of, you know, not kind of, but we, we like to pay tribute to uh, some of the uh, hip hop brethren uh, that are no longer here, mm -hmm. obviously you had a, a very deep relationship with uh, with Tupac. Uh, we talked about Forty Five King. I know you know we're all and and guess what? We're all kind of tangentially. Uh, that's the word of the day. I was going to say, yeah, no, 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 you know, let that go I mean, by too fast. Yeah, but, but I'm saying we're we're all we're all connected. You can call it good morning you till I join you. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. You know what we um talking about all the yeah 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 and just in talking about all the shows we did, so somebody quickly comes to mind, and I and I know um I know you were you were very you were tight with him as as we all were and as we got tighter over the years was Coolio, Coolio. You know I mean just describe 
you know, a, a remembrance about Coolio, who's one of the most unique artists we ever had. And, um, yeah. you know, I know we really enjoyed our, our, and, our time. And just to start when, with the Mourn You segment, it's yeah. like when Scott LaRock died and when it's like with hip hop, you don't even know an artist. If you don't know him, you feel that pain because it's like we in the same sorority. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Now with Coolio, Coolio was also on Tommy Boy. That's right. Mm. That's right. So we met each other on the road and everything else, and it was like we just on the road. So we 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 a team, no matter what. So one thing that comes up, me and Pac had got into this situation in a fight in L.A. I mean, you're Real telling big that story. Bangers, yeah. like that mm. was out there, and they basically green lit us. Like mm. when we see them, is on, on top and on yeah, site. yeah, yeah. So long story short, I had to meet up in Cali rules. You got to meet up and have a sit down or that green light is never going to go off. But before I had the meeting with the homies, the gangbangers, Coolio from Compton, mm -hmm. just us being label mates anywhere we went in Cali, he pulled up with his Compton homies and like right. interceded, if you will. Was, just anywhere we needed to go, mm -hmm. we was safe. Loke right. is like that cat too. Yeah. You Tom feel me? Yeah. 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 You know, right. it's yeah. like because Coolio was solid. He was solid in LA. And hip hop, Rest in peace, it was Coolio. Shout it was out like, to Tom Loke. Like hip hop bought so many different member. East Coast, West Coast, me and Pac was laughing like, homie, what? They right. can't think it's the East Coast, West Coast. We had an interview. It was like, what about that East Coast, West Coast? Well, I'm like, fuck you, Pac. He like, fuck you, Trey. We laugh. Like, <laughs> like what? What are you yeah. talking about? Talking about no, it's artists that's battling and banging and boom, and that's it. In hip hop, anybody yeah. passes away, it's like it's like a part of the brotherhood, sisterhood. Yeah. You really be like, yo. Especially with Heavy, especially with them all, even with Whitney and Michael and Prince, it's the end of an era. Certain and we sampled all life. of them, and you we, know, yeah. you know, yeah. Whitney was from East Orange, so yes, that's right. Yep. You know, yeah. even if you that's ain't right. know them through the musical feel, but hip hop has just been so much of a like. Isn't every it? five years you're here for fifty years, it ain't gonna be here in five years. I mean, I think that's something that uh, you know, and, that we yeah, all share. And I have to mention before we cut it off on the morning you segment, um, one of my biggest regrets. That I might have to live with um, is that I love Big, and I never had a chance to get him in Pac. Wow. Yeah. To let the world know it wasn't that yeah. serious. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You you think you have time? There'll, there'll be like, time. Really? Like I was in Big videos, Pac. I was on tour with Big and Bad Boy when Pac was on death row. And people don't let media, nothing else, take you to take sides on who you love and who you hate in hip hop because this shit gave us everything that we got. It took us off the streets. If it wasn't for hip hop, it's like it'll be anarchy. Mm. If all of us ain't yeah. had nothing to yeah. look forward to and look for jobs and look for sure. a chance out here. Yeah, so I always say God used hip hop to save my life. Real talk. Real, real like talk. That. Real, real talk. My brothers, thank you so much for coming down. All right, get ready for your shorts and your t shirt. You're doing, you're doing, a, wife you're doing a wife beater? You're Man, doing a by the time I land, this is going to be off. I'm going <laughs> to okay. be, be down to the naughty boxes. Hey. Right hey. Yeah. Wow. That was dope. That was dope. That, seriously, was dope. It was dope. And I'm looking forward to what the streets will have to say about it. Oh, my God. These damn streets. Okay. We, this, can we muzzle the streets sometimes? <laughs> no. We need the hey, streets. Hey, big shout out to our guest. That's right. Tretch. Uh, we wish him all the best. A great entertainer. More a great jewels, friend. More jewels. More, more jewels. He, he was all iced out all over he's, the place. You know, he's, jewels, he's, he's, you know the, he's the man. He's the he man. He joined us on the Funhouse Podcast. Funhouse Podcast. Where can they know, find us? Available on all streaming podcast platforms. Forms. Check out the information down there or up there or left, right. Well, hey. either way, time to say goodbye. Uh, 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 peace. peace.